Both these cars have a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 310 horsepower and 400 newton metres of pulling power. They also both have all wheel drive. Now I've got a manual six speed box. That's got a seven speed automatic gearbox. So I want to see the difference between the auto and the manual, bearing in mind that everything else is the same. So that has launch control. This has human control. So we'll see just how good I am at launching it because we're going to have a drag race. Good start there. But it counts for nothing. Oh my gosh, how is that pulled so far ahead? My launch was epic, but it just bogged down a bit and that's over. <laughs> How very, very interesting. I actually got a really good start. I think his reaction wasn't very good, but it didn't matter. It just banged all that power straight to four wheels. There was no bogging down because the engine and the gearbox work in perfect harmony, much better than the human, the gearbox and the engine did in this car. And the result was quite clear for you all to see. Interestingly, every time we've drag raced a manual Golf R, we've always had this problem of it bogging down either when launching or changing from first to second gear. As a result, they've always underperformed and never really capitalised on the fact they have all-wheel drive. Whereas when I launched a Golf R with the Auto, I clocked it from 0 to 60 in just 4.2 seconds, which is incredible. But you don't necessarily buy one of these types of cars just to be the fastest off the line. Which brings me on to the next test. Now what we're going to do is have a rolling race. So the idea is that I'm cruising along at 50 miles an hour in top gear. He'll be doing the same and we'll have a countdown and then I'll have to drop it down into third. He'll have to just mash the throttle and see how that gearbox responds. He's going to have to count it in though because I need both hands to do this. So go on then, count in the race. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I was quite quick. No, no, <laughs> that's happened. And it seems to be pulling somehow. I think that's the end of that. That was interesting. I wasn't that slow on the change down, but that's got seven gears, this has got six, so I think its ratios are probably slightly better match for acceleration. Hmm, oh well. <laughs> So, the automatic gearbox delivers better performance, but it will cost you extra. However, if you buy through CarWow, this is not as much as you might think. You see, the list price difference between the manual and the automatic Golf R is about £1,200. But because CarWow dealers offer an even better discount off the auto, in reality, it'll only cost you an extra £700 for the upgrade. Still, you pay your money and you take your choice. And with a performance car, shifting gears yourself can add to the experience, but it depends what you're after. So what would be my verdict if I was buying a Golf R? The manual's more fun to drive if you're in the mood for it, but for the rest of the time, yeah, <laughs> the auto is the better bet for comfort and for speed. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and click on our logo to subscribe to this channel, on the video window to watch more content, or on the choose and buy box to see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow.